National Digital Library of India database can be accessed in two ways that is searching and browsing. Today I will be covering how to search, browse, contents, that means books, journals and different other contents or learning resources from National Digital Library of India that will be beneficial for the students, for the research scholars, for the common citizen, for parents and for the teachers. So without delay, let's start a week's tutorial. At the very start, we have to download the National Digital Library of India app from Google Play Store. As you can see on the screen, you have to write for that National Digital Library of India or NDLI in short. This is the icon that I am going to zoom in, in so that you cannot make any mistake. You have to click on the install for install for its installation on your phone. National Digital Library of India is sponsored by Ministry of Human Resource and Development, Government of India and coordinated by IIT Kharagpur. Now after downloading, this is the first screen as you can see on the screen of National Digital Library of India app. So let's have a glance of different browsing features and searching features of this app. As you can see on the very first interface of the app, there are four square at the very side of the magnifier sign, that is the search sign. And you can see if you tap it, it will be showing you what kind of browsing features are there for the National Digital Library of Resources. As you can see, there are four types of resources, and you can browse the resources by its source, by types, by subject, and by learning resources. I am exploring these one by one. At the very first, by type of resources, you can see on the car circle, red circle. If you click on it, it will be showing you text, video. I am zooming in. You can see text, video, image, audio, animation, simulation, presentation. All these kind of materials are there by type. Next, by source. As you can see, by source, there are several very world-famous sources, NPTEL, NCERT, JEE, Main Inclipnet, Sodh Ganga, Sodh Gangotri, and many more. I'll be exploring this in the later part of this video. By subject, there are three levels. The first level denotes if you are looking for or if you are searching content of particular subject area. By second level, it denotes if you are looking for a second level of searching criteria and the third level as you can see on the screen so you have to apply all these if you want to browse National Digital Library of India resources I am searching documents of religion at the very first level and then you can narrow down your searches and then there is learning resources type you have different options as learning resources, there is book, question paper, article, audio, video lecture. These are very important features of National Digital Library of India. Now, at the very right up corner, you can see that there is a globe icon. If you click on globe icon, it will be directing you to change the interface language in 11 other languages, National Digital Library of India actually offers two kinds of searching. Number one is federated searching and number two is filtered searching. And I'm going to explore right now what kind of federated searching and filtered searching are there. You can see on the screen that I'm searching with the keyword metaphysics. And for that you have to click on the magnifier icon and then there would be a search box. You have to write metaphysics as you can see on the screen or either you have another option of voice input look at the very first there is 45,357 results so retrieved from the National Digital Library of India database and if you want to narrow down your search there is a funnel icon you have to click on it and it is for filtration let us now see what kind of filters and techniques are there at the very first you will see that it's 
is having filtered technique of author that means if you are looking for or if you are browsing a particular content and you have several authors showing as retrieve results and if you want to write there is a search box the name of the author and as I am writing or Alfred and it will be showing you the result of Alfred and it will be narrowed down as a search result and then you have subject domain as I am showing you right now you have to click on the box subject domain there are several subject domains and the retrieve result that is a 45,357 results are shown in different subject domains and you have to select as per your requirement next educational level this is the beauty of national digital library of india because as i'm zooming in you can see that from class 1 to ug and pg including class 10 11 12 and adult education and different other educational level are there and there is language option as I have already told you that there are 400 languages and you have to select from these languages the document you want to and then learn a resource type and as per your requirement you select the different resources of document that is autobiography, biography, book, broadcast, question paper, whatever you are in need you have to select in it and then there is content type if there is source I should say as you can see on the screen there is Content type as you can see on the screen As per your requirement you have to select whether you are to text, audio, video, image or what kind of resources Just I am zooming in the different options And then access restrictions they have their own option That is own, subscribe, NDLI, limited or authorized action It shows that all the documents are not openly available As per criteria they are available to the users and after selecting all these, you have to apply the filtered criteria. This will narrow down your search. So for 45,357 results, you are going to narrow down the search by filtering some techniques. Now some technical talks for the librarians, for the information scientists, and for other researchers. National Digital Library of India actually uses their own open standard metadata. That is actually a conglomeration of Dublin Core Metadata Initiative that you all know, my librarian fraternity, and the learning resource metadata initiative they have already customized that and they have made their own metadata for the documents for different question papers and for thesis that has been accessed from Shodh Ganga of Implement. I'm going to show you the different metadata that has been created during uploading a document or for the convenience of the users of the document or the content. Now on the screen you can see that I have browsed a document with Hindu Shastra from religion subject and I'm showing you the different metadata and on the red circle that you can see that there are some icons just go to description box to get details of this icon because this icon are very important this shows that it is in Bengali language and it is open access and it is a text document now the content of the document as you can see the metadata shows at the very first author and it is the author of Bipin Bihari Ghoshal and then file format of the content language it is the Bengali language as I have already told you publisher Sanskrit Press Depository as you can see on the screen source where has it been accessed from the subject domain the content type the content type is text learning resource type and access restrictions these are the metadata that I have just already talked about and in order to download content that is books, journals or other content after searching and browsing you have to log in to download it whether in your personal computer or in your mobile phone for that you have to give your login id and password if you have not yet created it just watch my video on my channel I have created how to sign up, register and how to add bulk user you can find it in my description box too and if you are I am giving my credentials and I am logging in and after logging in if you want to search the same document it will be showing you some more metadata as I have already covered the metadata section in this video tutorial and then you can find an option that is open and if you click on open you are ready to go to download the document just note the red circle on open button you have to click on it and then it will be showing where 
pop-up box you have to click on the icon then no pending downloads would be shown that means your item has been downloaded i want to see yes this is the book metaphysic by harman lodze it's a book of 306 pages the whole book has been downloaded now all that you have to do is to save it on your local hard disk of your mobile phone or your personal computer for that you have to click at the right up corner there would be three dot you have to click on it there would be download option as you can see on the screen you have to click on download and the document will be downloaded we have some mobile. other learning resources type browsing options as resources whatever resources you want to download you can browse it as book question paper video lecture i'm zooming in you can see book question paper article video lecture audio lecture and thesis as i have already told you that there are two lakh thesis in national digital library of india if you click on spoken tutorial it will show you some options as i'm clicking on union type dip as usual you can see just one thing that they have a icon of handicap that means it's a video lecture and i'm going to learn about video lecture and these are the metadata as i have already told you the file format language source spoken tutorial where is it taken from time required interactive type educational level 11 12 etc let's see what kind of spoken tutorial are there and what kind of video lecture is there it will be directed to the youtube this as you can see the spoken tutorial is taken from iit bombay that means it is a pretty good quality spoken tutorial now some other options they have that is feature sources that is NPTEL for engineering content, NCERT for school students, South Asia Archive or OECD I library, LibriVox for audiobooks, you can download audiobooks from here, Krishi course for agricultural databases, South Ganga of Infinite, you can download thesis, 2 lakh thesis, Infinite, another option that is English, South Ganga 3 is there and one of my favorites is Sotto Jidrai Society, that is you can download Sotto Jidrai's manuscript, digital manuscript from there. Just click on it, I'm clicking on Sotto Jidrai's manuscript. I'm zooming in what kind of works are there. As you can see, they have their own options and own icons. I'm clicking on, this is the metadata as you can see. They have their own options and I'm downloading it, it's 126.87 MB. You can see the whole manuscript of Nayok of Sotojit Roy from here. It's a rare document collection and they are opening it for the common citizen to watch to download it and for the researchers to carry their research work on Sotojit Roy. As you see, it's been downloaded on this mobile phone. Just take a look at it. It is Nayok and this is the handwriting of Sotojit Roy and it's been digitized. It is a marvelous job done by the National Digital Library of India. If you want to learn more, I suggest you, you go to the FAQ section of National Digital Library of India as I am showing you on the screen. Just look at it. You have to click on FAQ. Just follow the red circle over there. It will be taking you to the website and it's a fantastic FAQ site of National Digital Library of India. You can have several guidance from there. That is about user account management, contents, search, browse options, metadata and terms and conditions and support, what kind of support they are providing you. Just go through this and if you want to learn about National Digital Library of India, so go to the about section, the sponsored agency. If you want to know about your personal file that you have already downloaded, it will be stored in your login ID credentials and your page. So. Just explore National Digital Library of India and expose the huge database that they have created. If you like the video, just hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to all options.